Hey all, welcome to Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. Weekly one question for our competitive exam preparation. Every week Sunday, we are consistently discussing some challenging questions. So this problem is continuation of our previous session. So last week, we have discussed a question in time and work, and I gave you this question as homework. And some candidates have correctly answered this question, and answer for this question is 8, 4 by 7. If you haven't watched our previous session, I have included the same in our description. So please click and watch it before watching this video. Okay, and here you have a question. A and B can do a piece of work in 15 days and A and C can do it in 10 days. They started the work together. After three days, B left the work. And one day later, A also left. The remaining work was finished by C in 11 days. The work can be finished by A, B and C together in how many days? So this question seems to be a little challenging, right? But if you use the concept of group efficiency, this is very, very, very easy. I will show you how to solve this problem. Okay, we can use the normal, uh, you know, problem solving style that is using LCM. A and B can do a work in 15 days. So A and B together, they will complete the work in 15 days. And B and C will do it in 10 days. Now, this is the hint given for us and we don't know what is the total work. Now, how can we... Uh, Take our total work you can choose an lcm or you can go by multiplying these two numbers or you can take any numbers of your ways so i will choose lcm so lcm of 15 and 10 you get 30 so the total work is 30 units now a and b will complete this total work 30 units in 15 days so in one day a and b will complete how many units 30 by 15 so a and b will complete two units in one day now, B and C will complete this 30 units in 10 days. So, in one day, A and B will complete 30 by 10, 3 units. Now, we can move with the flow of hints given. After 3 days, B left the work. Before that, they started the work together. So, A, B and C, all of them started the work together. Now, after three days, B left the work. That means for first three days, A, B and C have worked, right? So, A, B and C worked for three days. After that, B quit the job. <clears throat> now, if B quit the work, A and C will be working for the upcoming days, right? Now, after three days, B left the job. And one day later, A also left. So, A and C worked for only one day, right? A, B and C started the work together and they have worked for three days. Now B quit the job. Now A and C is working and one day later A also left. That means A and C worked only for one day, right? Now the remaining work was finished by C in 11 days. So C completed the remaining work in 11 days. Now with this we can calculate for how many days A worked, for how many days B worked and for how many days C worked. Now it is very simple, right? Now, A worked for how many days? Now, look at it. So, in this group, A worked for three days. And in the second group, A worked for one day. So, totally A worked for four days. Now, look at B. B worked for how many days? So, B totally worked for three days. Right? Now, can we look at C? C worked for how many days? 11. Here it is 12. And here it is plus 3. So, C totally worked for 15 days. Right, they actually worked in group, but if you try to take the individual efficiency, A worked for four days, B worked for three days, and C worked for 15 days. Now, what can we do? Now, see, you know, A and B together will complete two units in one day, right? So, A and B together they will complete two units in one day. Now, A worked for four days, B worked for three days. Now, what I do. We can take A and B working for three days. So A and B in one day, they will complete two units. In three days, they will complete how many units? Two into three, six units, right? Now, we uh, we have completed for B. So B worked for three days. Now, out of four days, A worked for three days. Now, how many days spending for A? So A have to work for another one day to compensate that four days, right? Now, A and C... Okay, I think it is E and C. It is not B and C, it is E and C. As per the question, it is E and C, right? Okay, now A and C together, they will complete how many units? It is three units, right? 
now a and c together they will complete how many units three units in one day now out of four days a worked for three days now i have to take only for one day right so a and c will complete three units in one day so in that one day they have completed one day three units did we compensate per a yes now a totally worked for four days as per the given uh hint right now six plus three totally nine units they have completed out of how many units 30 units right because the total work here is 30 units out of 39 units they totally completed now out of 15 days c also worked for one days as per our calculation right now c have to work for another 14 days now out of 30 units nine units got completed by this group and remaining we have 30 minus 9 21 units now tell me this 21 units will be completed by c right because c worked for one day out of 15 days now c would have completed these 21 units in 14 days right so c's working unit is uh, 21 units and c have to complete that 21 units in total 14 days because we already taken this c's efficiency with the group efficiency of a and c right so c have to complete this 21 units in how many days 14 days right so in 14 days c will complete 21 units so in one day c will complete how many units it is 21 by 14 so if we solve it we get 3 by 2 so c will complete only 1.5 units per day now this is a p c and c of c all right now i believe you understood why i am taking these many steps now i try to calculate the individual efficiency of each person in the group now c's one day efficiency is 1.5 units per day now we know a and c together they will complete three units in one day out of that c will complete 1.5 units now what is efficiency of a we can put this c here now efficiency of a is how much a is also 1.5 units per day now you found efficiency of a is 1.5 units per day and efficiency of c is 1.5 units per day and you can also calculate for efficiency of b right now a and b together they will complete two units per day now tell me what is efficiency of b so a is 1.5 what is efficiency of b 0 0.5 units per day now you found the individual efficiency of each person in the group. Now the question is the work can be finished by A, B and C together in how many days? Now what is A, B and C? One day efficiency. I mean uh, the together efficiency of A, B and C for one day. So A, B and C together they will complete how many units? 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 0 0.5. So they will complete 3.5 units in one day, right? With this efficiency, if they want to complete the 30 units, they will take how many days? So I will change the color for your understanding. We can choose this color. Okay. Now totally we have 30 units. This is the total work and this is efficiency. One day efficiency of the group ABC. Now 30 units by 3.5. See, can we write this 3.5 as 7 by 2? We can write it as 7 by 2, right? Now I write it as 7 by 2. So that divided by 2 will come to top. So it is almost 60 by 7. What is 60 by 7? 7, 8s are 56. Remainder 4. Now we can write this value in mixed fraction. 8 will come here. 7 will go to bottom and 4 will come to top. So it is 8, 4 by 7 days. So what is answered for this question? Which is option C, 8, 4 by 7 days. All right see the question seems to be very complex but if you understand the concept this is very 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 easy i hope you understood a problem related to time and work in upcoming days i will come up with a lot of challenging problems until that stay connected with career training solutions all the very best keep practicing thank you guys